What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we may or may not have rushed through the cycling road just a tad bit, mainly because we wanted to get here, Fuchsia City. And, well, to start up our adventure, we're going to be going to the Safari Zone because there might be a few Pokemon here and there that we want to catch. You know, the, the goods. Not only that, but we also want to get the two HMs that are left right here. HMO2 or HMO3 and HMO4. Now, let's see. What if we go right here? Let's see. Uh, Bill Fly. Okay. PC, did he show you? Yes. They're talking to me about, uh, you know. They're talking to me about, uh, what, what's his name? Um, Bill. Yes, Bill. Completely forgot his name. Wow. Yeah, he's talking about the Pokemon and all that stuff. That's good. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty-gritty and grab some stuff. You know, stuff. Free stuff. Great stuff. So if we go right here, we are going to be able to get ourselves, I believe, a good rod. And, well, let's see. Yes. And, yes, I love fishing. Take this, and we get ourselves a good rod, which will enable us to capture some better Pokemon right here. And, well, let's see. Yeah. I think we already know the gif of, uh... Kind of the, the, the gif uh, of uh, what we're going through right here. Now, what kind of Pokemon can you find here? Let's see. Name, Muna, friendly, and moving. Okay, so yes, Muna, the Pokemon that we that we were deceived with. You know, that Pokemon we thought we were going to get Mew. And then here is uh, Audino, a catchy one that allows you up to a chance. Obviously, Audino is the Pokemon that will give you a little bit more experience points. And what would this one be? Clink. Very image of a Pokemon, okay. And yes, I have not captured one. I'm thinking of doing it. And let's see what kind of fossil Pokemon you can actually find right here. Let's see. Aloma Lo Aloma AKA the Heart of the Seas. Oh, the Heart of the Seas, okay. So yeah, you can get an Aloma Mamola. And well, let's see. Here is the fossil Pokemon that we didn't choose, and this is Arkin. Huh. Huh, I thought that I thought that I actually got the fossil for that. Huh. Could be wrong. And here's a Bouffalant. An Afro Pokemon that still thinks it's 1970. Ha <laughs> ha Oh, that's messed up. That's <laughs> That's messed up. Okay, never mind. We're not even going there. So let's go straight to the Safari Zone right here. And let's pay these 500 and uh, some out of... Poke dollars and yes, let's go ahead and get ourselves some Pokemon right here. Now we might make a two, we might make two trips to the uh, to the Safari Zone mainly because of the type of Pokemon we can get. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and see what the Dragon type Pokemon is. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Okay, good rod, and and here we have a Basculin. Don't think we caught one, so let's go ahead and throw a Pokeball right here. How do you miss? Oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> this is uh, messed up right here. Hold on. It's a bite. And what do we have? We already got one of these guys. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so... Um, how in the heck did we... That is not a legendary Pokemon. That is messed up right there. Let's see. That is... See, now let's try it again. And yes, yeah, so I'm using the speed button just because of this. I'm not good with patience. And nope. God dang it. Come on. It's a bite. Okay, so more likely we might find a legendary. Not a legendary, but. Huh. Okay, we hooked up time pool. What if we throw a ball at it? What the hell? Okay, so there are certain Pokemon that you need to. Yeah, okay. I see what this is all about. This is kind of messed up in a way. It kind of is. So let's go to the main objective and grab ourselves the HMO3 Surf. And there are other items in here. We already know. And, well, would you look at that? We got ourselves a Carablast. Now, did we capture a Carablast? Huh. There we go. We caught ourselves a Carablast. Hmm. Or can we trade a Carablast? I kind of forgot. So here it is, Carablast, the clamping Pokemon. When they feel threatened, they spit acid to the drive attackers away. They fight with Shelmet. Okay, so there's one Pokemon that we've caught. And, well, let's see. Grab an item right here. 
Now, I seem to have remembered that you can actually trade a Carablast or a Shelmet for the, you know, for each other. That would, of course, trigger a trade. So, let's see, we found ourselves a TM-16. What would that be? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, sl wow, Sludge. Okay. So, that... That right there is interesting. That's a new that's a new move that I thought yeah. And a shellstone. Huh. This okay, so this is starting to be this is very interesting. Okay, so now it's capture my interest again. Okay, and wow, just like always, uh we use up a lot of space, so we're gonna use this. Gonna go with Oinkinator. And here we found ourselves a full restore, which well, that's pretty cool. And, well, see what kind of Pokemon we got. Already got you. Okay, so Dweeble, we already caught you. Don't need you, buddy. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and move on right here. Try not to waste any steps. Now, I remember as a kid, uh, I would always try to, I would always try to get to the, the final area. But I would always mess up by, um, I would always mess up by using up all the steps and stuff. And it wasn't until, like, I, 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 can, I, I can actually comprehend a lot more of these games that, you know, <laughs> they, well, you, you memorize this, you memorize the area, you know where to go. Hell, you even had a Pokemon handbook just to help me uh, get through this whole place. And... It became a little bit easier, but that for me was more of like I wanted to get the items first. Now, as you can see here, here we have Pharaoh Seed, the Thorn Seed Pokemon. When attacked, it shoots out a barrage of spikes, which give it a, a chance to roll away. Okay, that's a nice Pokemon that we got. Definitely not uh, going to keep it on our team, but it's a de it's a pretty good Pokemon to actually have in the uh, later generations right here. And well, let's see. Now, one thing that always messed me up was that, you know, I wanted to go to different sections. I saw different items, wanted to get them, and it made me waste a lot of my uh, my steps. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's... Oh, wow! Okay, so here's an Axu. Oh, my God, you can capture an Axu here. Come on. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to try and capture Axu. Come on. God dang it. Oh, damn Wanted to throw bait at it. Oh, we got Axu! The team is coming back! Holy crud, we caught Axu. So here it is, guys. Axu, the Tusk Pokemon. Its Tusk have a tendency to break, but each time they grow back, they become harder and stronger. Oh, yes, the team is coming back together because I think I just got the, whole, the, the last remaining member of my Pokemon Black team. Say hello to Bone Saw. Here we go, Bone Saw. Look at that. Okay. All right. So we're doing we're, we're doing such a good job right here. Okay. All right. Okay. And oh, would you look at that, Golette? So I think you can capture here too. Wow. This is interesting. This is very interesting. Holy crud. Now, a few episodes ago, I thought that you could actually capture Golette over at the at Pokemon Tower. Now, I could be wrong. You, you could still capture it there. It's just it's right here, too. Holy done. And, well, there he is again. Okay, I'm going to capture you, you little a-hole Pokemon. Now, what I was saying, guys, I would always be tempted to try and cap or capture different Pokemon, like Chansey, uh, Kangaskhan, those rare Pokemon. Now, let me see what this is all about. The Automaton. Ancient science fashioned this Pokemon from clay. It's been active for thousands of years. Oh, damn. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Uh, the other thing, too, items like this. I would always try and get every single item, and it would waste my... You know, it would waste everything. Literally waste every little thing that I had. And, well, let's see. Let's see. What is this TM3? Sword Stance. Don't necessarily need it. Um... Crap baskets. Oh, damn. Okay, so we are in a little bit of a conundrum. I did say that we were going to come back here. Uh, hmm. Let's see. 
Let me weigh some. Let me weigh some steps. Let me go back to the PC and throw in a few items, and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. Okay, so we're back, and well, I got myself a shell man. That's pretty cool. And here we have a TM40. Pretty cool. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? Let's see. TM40. Skull Bash. Okay, that's cool. Anywho, it's things like that that you know pretty much wasted my steps and made it hard for me to actually get to the uh, the serve technique again back in the day guys there was not a lot there was no internet well there was it was just dial up and then even then for me it was like I didn't really think that far ahead like oh you need to go to the internet to find out uh, how to pe how to beat the game it was more of like going to school talking to your friends who had Pokemon and they would tell you where to find it it was a mystery and it was an adventure, guys. It was actually pretty good times. Very, very good times. And, well, it wasn't until, let's see. Yeah, it wasn't until dial-up just uh, went wireless and all that stuff. It became easier for me to actually find these things. And here we found a gold teeth and, well, or it's stuff like that where you find one thing and then you mess up because your, you know, your bag gets all filled up in crud and, yeah. <laughs> It's usually uh that's usually a good uh, problem to have and well TM32 is double team so we don't really need that all right so here we are in the final stage of this place and yes ah finally you're the first person to reach the secret house I was getting worried that no one would ever uh, win our campaign prize congratulations you have won and look at that the THM03 it is surf and it, Pokemon will be able to ferry you across the water and this HM isn't disposable, so you can use it over and over and over again. You're super lucky for winning this fabulous prize. Gravy. Okay, so that right there is a victory for me. And, well, let's... I guess... Yeah, <laughs> I guess we should weigh some steps. I don't know. I guess we should weigh some steps and uh, see what kind of Pokemon we can actually find around here. And, well, here we have a Minchino. I think I've already caught one of these guys. And, well, there we go. We're just going to escape. And, well, yeah, let's go ahead and find whatever Pokemon we have right here. Now, we've caught a nice a nice stack of Pokemon, including Axu. Tempted of using them on my team here. I really am. <laughs> Again. Tempted of doing some stuff. Okay, so, yeah, let's just, uh... Actually, let's just speed the button right here. There we go. Speed the button. There we go. Speed the button. Go lurk. I don't think I caught this guy. Did I catch this guy? I think I already did. Huh. Never mind. Okay. Well, let's go. There we go. Safari ball. There we go. And yes, we have caught ourselves a golet. And yes, we already caught ourselves a golet. God dang it. This is the second one. Okay. Never mind. All right. Come on. Ring the bell. I kind of need to get the heck out of here. And don't need it. Yeah, don't need it. Minchino and all that stuff. Okay, here we go. There we go. Thank you. Let's get the heck out of here. Okay, so we got ourselves a good haul, and now it's time for us to fulfill something else right here, and that is to go back to the warden's house. We already know what's going on, but we need to just return his gold teeth because, well, homie, like homie can't talk. You really can't. Let's go right here. Come on. Why do they have to make it into a maze right here? That's my question. Okay, alrighty, so here we are going into the going into this location right here and talk to homeboy and he's like, Oh yes, we have given him his gold teeth and well thanks no one could understand a word I said. I couldn't uh, I couldn't work that way. Let me give you something for your trouble and we get ourselves the HMO four which is strength that lets Pokemon move boulders when you're outside of battle. Oh yes, did you get find a secret house in the Safari Zone? If you do, you win an HM. Oh, and I hear it's a rare Surf HM, which is cool, very cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and give that HM to someone that can actually benefit from this. Someone on our team. Uh, you know what? Oinkin Eater needs a better move than you know what it has right now. Or I, you know what? I could give it to Kill a Croc. Hold on. You know, we got some good moves right here. Let's give it to Kill a Croc. Or hold on. I just realized something. Kill a Croc? Oh, yeah. I was about to say, Kill a Croc could actually learn Surf, too. 
Alright, so let's use strength on Killer Croc because it would actually be better on it. So here we go. Let's yes, I wanna yeah, teach it. Let's go ahead and take away bite. And well, there we go. We got ourselves strength. And let's give ourselves HMO3 surf. And let's give that to mudslide. Now, there is one bad thing. And that is that we can't use Surf outside of battle just yet because we haven't, uh, yeah, we haven't, uh, <laughs> we haven't gotten a, a Fuchsia City gym badge. So let's go ahead and move this boulder. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Yes, yeah, strength. Okay, let's move this boulder and look at that. Okay, no more boulders. And here we found ourselves another rare candy. And well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and see see what the professor the professor's aid would give us right here if we go onto this this section. Like I said, uh, I think in the last episode or this episode, the routes leading to Vermilion City and all that stuff it's gonna be off screen. Totally not gonna show it to you guys. And well, let's see. If you caught 50 kinds of Pokemon, I was supposed to give you an experience all. And yes, we've caught ourselves 50 Pokemon. We've actually caught ourselves 62 of them. And, well, there, yeah, like, okay, so, the experience all is not like the ones that you're seeing today where, like, you know, uh, you know, it actually benefits us in a way or another. It's very annoying, guys. It makes it, prolongs a battle, basically. And a large shining bird Pokemon, and, uh, huh, that is not, well, I already caught that guy. <laughs> yeah, not a large shining Pokemon. So, that is that, and, well... I think that's pretty much it. So in the next episode, guys, we will be going up against uh, Koga in his gym. Then we're going to have some fun, okay? We're going to have a lot of fun. Trust me on this one. We are going to have so much fun. It's going to be a stupid. Very a stupid. So, well, I don't know what else I could say, guys. <laughs> pretty much uh, thank you for watching, I guess. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.